Maraba friends, would you like to triple boot Windows, Pop OS, and Manjaro? Yes, it's easy. Let me guide you. And off the right of the back, this video is only for legacy BIOS MBR systems. It is not for UEFI systems. Without further ado, let's get started. This video is part two of a previous video I made on successfully dual booting Windows and Pop OS. So if you want to triple boot, please go and watch the video. The link is on the screen and in the description. And at this point, I assume you have successfully dual booted Windows and Pop OS watching my other video. So if I hit on Windows R and then hit on WinWare to show you I am running Windows 2004 build 1941.450 all right so i'm running windows and i'm running pop okay so if i bring up the disk management to show you and prove i'm running pop os you see in my previous video you will recall if you have seen it if not please go and see that i have pop os installed on the 92 gb partition and 8 gb is linux swap so the zero partition 5 is 92 gb which in houses pop os 2010 and this zero partition six is swap and on e80 gb i am going to install linux manjaro okay manjaro linux linux or linux man somebody help me all right so it is very important for you guys to select a partition select a disk space which is after pop os because in my testing i corrupted my installation of pop os when i installed manjaro in a in a disk space which is before pop os so please select a partition which is after pop os all right let me show you the uh, partition e which is empty please also empty out your partition don't have anything on it because you will lose all your data and don't blame me that i didn't tell you <laughs> all right so to prepare it for installation i am going to right click and i'm going to delete, delete this partition and make it as a free space so it will be available for manjaro installer so i'm going to sort of right click and click on delete volume and deleting this volume is going to erase all data yes we do not have any data do you want to continue yes absolutely that is what we are here for so now it is free space next up we are going to bring up a favorite browser so windows r and i'm going to type in firefox and we browse to the manjaro site go to the download section to see that we have three flavors or four three flavors of desktop environment for manjaro except ce if we browse down more we see kde plasma and if we go down more we have the default gnome not the default i mean it's gnome and we have another one get architect all right get architect is not for noobs like me <laughs> all right so i'm going to show you i have a pop os in gnome so i'm going to choose some variation i'm going to get xfce which is another performant in environment so performance wise and it has currently detected 64 bit version and we can download by hitting the download button but it says minimal provides basic desktop environment with no additional software key packages installed packages pre-installed so i'm going to download minimal great take me to download and once the link opens we can download the iso so if you want performance uh, performant desktop environment choose xfce or kde gnome is a bit resource heavy not bit it is resource heavy so i assume you have downloaded it and now that we have download is complete i'm going to show you that we have i have already downloaded manjaro xse linux linux or linux man please somebody help me all right and windows 10 2004 iso which i have on my system on which i'm recording all right so we need to burn this iso in a usb so i'm going to summon rufus uh i use rufus to burn even Linux systems in that video also I burned pop OS with Rufus. So I have plugged in my USB. I have a 32 gig USB and you can see we can select a boot selection disk or ISO image. Don't select non bootable or free DOS. Okay. So clicked on the select button and select the Manjaro ISO. And it is very important, critical to have the partition screen as MBR on target system as BIOS please do not select uefi i mean i can't just stress that enough all right i have already burned it so i'm not going to burn it in front of you and this was about the time that i had to switch out of my screen recorder 
from my to my phone recorder so i apologize for the video quality from here on there is no way i can record this if i'm doing it on 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 an actual hardware on a vm i could but this is actual hardware so i have inserted my usb clicked on restart and i hit escape button to go into the bios and i we have the boot device options we need to boot out of our usb installer all right so don't select uefi select usb hard drive generic that is what i'm doing i don't know what is the key to get into the bias of your system please find out on the internet all right boot with open source or proprietary i'm going to select proprietary because it is more performant than open source so i'm go i'm going to go with proprietary right now boot with proprietary drivers click on enter and once you enter you will see welcome to manjaro linux and you get a bunch of okay 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 all right it is very important that you get okay in all i would say if you are not getting okay in all then that means there is an issue with the way you have burnt your uh, usb iso installed uh, usb iso like this all right and you need to fix it all right so we have successfully you booted our manjaro live usb installer so welcome to manjaro and please connect to your wifi network if you have one if you do not use a lan cable uh, i have wifi network so i'm going to click, double click on install manjaro which is on the bottom left and nibia installer shows up it is waiting for one module it is waiting for the internet and i don't know although i had internet it just said that i it is not connected to the internet so it searches for two things internet and ac power plugged in all right so it thinks i'm in the states i'm not i'm in here and you now know my city i'm going to change the system language to us utf8 and n and you local i'm going to change it to n us utf8 that works best for me and I'm for my keyboard layout all right so let, let's move on to the next click on next and we find this looks good okay it is very important critical critical see bias on the left and mbr on the right if you are not in bias and mbr and if you have a bias and mbr systems and it will show uf ufi and and so don't go forward otherwise you will corrupt all your installation so we have four options install along long side replace a partition erase disk and manual partition we are going to go with manual partition so that is what we need to do please don't select the other options otherwise you're not going to triple boot <laughs> all right so click on next and i'm going to give you a rundown of the system that i have so my dev sda ones come as windows recovery environment dev sda2 is my actual windows installation windows 2004 windows 10 version 2004 dev sda3 is ntfs some display sda4 is an extended partition which houses all the other partitions because it's an mbr system so we can have only three or four primary partition sda5 is ntfs sda6 is my pop os you see there pop os 2010 sda7 is swap which you pop os uses free space is what we have done and as sda8 is another ntfs partition so we are going to install on the free space and make sure again your manjaro is after pop and not before pop so i'm going to select that and click on create i'm going to take up all the size and files file system is going to be ext4 mount point is going to be root all right so and click on okay i'm not getting any i'm not creating any separate home partitions because i want manjaro linux to manage my partitions dynamically otherwise i will have to micromanage next select the swap partition and make sure to keep it at keep so that manjaro will use this same swap partition so we're sharing swap between manjaro and pop now install bootloader on master boot record of dev sda1 my hard disk my usb and my system partition in my testing i had selected system partition and manjaro installed fine and i could i would boot back into windows i used easy bcd to point to manjaro but i could never boot it to manjaro i could boot into windows and pop but never manjaro so in finally i had to select master boot record of my hard disk a dev sda1 that's all that's it i mean would you believe me we just did one step that we created a new system partition and we installed manjaro to it and we installed the bootloader on our mbr partition don't worry i mean manjaro will successfully boot windows pop os and manjaro itself i mean all right so i've entered my credentials and this is what we are doing finally it just says you see from on the top is gray and on the bottom is red we are just install installing manjaro there and we are using this swap partition and we pop os will use that swap and manjaro will use a swap too 
All right, so we install, install Manjaro and install the boot builder on dev SDA. So right now I'm going to say install now. And yes, uh, it took a while. I mean, depending upon the hardware that you have and the amount of software you're installing, you see I'm installing the minimal flavor of, uh, of XFCE. And even after, I mean, it, it took a while. I have sped up this video. There is no way you can speed up your installation. Just to um, just to not bore you, bore you guys, I just have sped up this video to show you that yes, it took a while, and it is very important for you to like you have you should have a little courage to do this, I mean, because I mean trust me, I mean this is my like my my this is not this is my live system, but I I test with my live system to show you guys this video, and I have successfully done it. And the only videos I release is once I have success because I never never ever want to show you guys something like clickbaity or something that didn't work i just want to if it works for me it's it's on the internet i mean it's on my channel if it doesn't work for me it's not on it's not on my channel so i mean so you can trust me to say when i say it works it it works i mean if if you you know you don't follow the instructions somewhere somehow or there's some problem with your hardware otherwise any success that I have, it's for you guys. All right, so restart now, all done. And I'm going to click on done. And we need to take out our uh, USB stick once it boots back to the black screen. All right, so. All right, so take out USB stick, press and let it boot. And yes, successfully we have triple boot Manjaro, Windows, and Pop OS. Yeah, you saw this is in the intro too, right? <laughs> all right, so to prove I'm going to boot into all three environments. First, I'm going to go into Manjaro Linux or Linux, man, please. I don't remember. I'm going to get a lot of comments somewhere. So Linux or Linux, Linux, probably Linux. All right, so Manjaro Hikmat Estad, I have entered my password. And yes, there was a flicker some for some reason. Uh, and we have successfully booted into Manjaro Linux. So hey, Hikmat Estad, welcome to Manjaro. This is my live system and I'm gonna log out. I'm, and this time we'll say restart, not this time. I mean, first time I'm gonna say restart. And I'm once we boot back in, I'm going to boot into Pop OS to show you that Pop OS is working. Okay, apologize for the video quality. The focus is bad on this camera again, but there's no way I can fix it. Yes, we are back into Pop OS, and it's not so fast, guys. I mean, I, while video editing, I had to cut, trim, and cut all the black sequences so that I don't bore you guys again. This is, I told you I had installed GNOME, but after I installed GNOME, I installed the, uh, the Plasma KDE in environment using gdm3 there's a video you can you can install it too all right so you see i have security available that means i have not updated it in a while and so i'm going to leave right now and i'm going to restart and boot back into windows to show you that it is in the same environment all right booting back into the same screen for manjaro grub has successfully detected windows i don't know why it says windows recovery environment but i think for you it should say say windows so uh the wheel is spinning and that looks good. I mean, yes, I think we we should be. Yes, 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 yes. That's pretty cool, uh huh? Yeah, that, I mean, looks good too. Huh? Looks comforting, man. I mean, looks comforting. I'm going to use this for all my future videos. I mean, see, and I'm going to just to show you that, guys. I mean, when we're and we are back on the same version of Windows, the back, the white background <laughs> and Microsoft Windows 2004, same build OS, OS version. See, same background, same uh, notes uh, on the top. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for this video. See you next time. Take care.